Hi, so this is a video that's going to be posted on, um, well, it's going to be the fourth in the series, and that can be day four, or that could just be the fourth in the series, depending on when you're catching this and where you're catching it. Anyway, so this is again, September of Shadows. Um, yesterday, I talked about um, how even as we're trying to establish a new routine, sometimes things can get in the way. We can have little monkey wrenches thrown in, golden, beautiful monkey wrenches and black tarry monkey wrenches, and that's okay, we just figure it out. Today, I want to address this idea that shadows are bad, okay? That our shadows are bad. Our shadows are not bad. Our shadows are part of us. Our shadows came from wounds. They came from pain. They came generally from, usually from ego pain, right? And sometimes they came from other physical pain. They came from incidents that happened, you know, different things. But they came from pain, okay? They came from wounds. That doesn't make them bad. If you think about a wounded creature, right? A wounded creature is fearful. It's fearful because it, like, let's say, you know, um, a dog has been injured and maybe it, its leg is hurt. It can't, it knows it can't stand up and run away if there's danger. It knows that it can't defend itself maybe as much as it wants because it doesn't have stability. Um, it's fearful because it hurts and, and it, and it doesn't want to hurt. Um, and it's fearful that it, that it can't take care of itself. And if you approach it, it's going to lash out, right? Right. It's going to be protective of itself and it's going to lash out in any way that it can. And so it may be more aggressive because it's in pain and it's fearful, right? So if you think about the fact that our shadows come from wounds, right? So if we're talking about shadows being these patterns that we engage in that aren't helpful to us, right? Often they engage in us reacting out of fear, reacting out of pain based on a pattern from earlier in our lives, right? That doesn't make them bad. Usually they came about as, you know, in a psychological way, as like a coping mechanism, right? As a way of protecting yourself so that if you got hurt in some way, you then developed a coping mechanism so that you would not get hurt that way again. And this, again, is a very physical thing. Your amygdala is involved in this and your amygdala, though it can go out of control and, and, and cause great anxiety, generally that starts off as a protective measure. The whole point of the amygdala is to protect you from danger, right? It just sometimes gets confused about what's actually danger and what's not. So the idea is not to fight our shadows or to fight these patterns or wish these wounds away or um, think of them as bad or think of ourselves as bad because we have them. We all have them. It's a question of bringing them into balance and healing them means accepting that they're there, acknowledging them, acknowledging those wounds if you know what the original wounds are or what the more recent wounds are, wounds are it doesn't matter but acknowledging that pattern and then being compassionate towards yourself you know maybe being compassionate towards um an earlier child version of yourself or an earlier version of yourself that was caught in a bad situation right so it's about having love and compassion and feeling that love and compassion and allowing that grief for that wound to flow through you, allowing that, uh, figuring out where that might reside in your body. And you can do that in a meditative way. Like if, when you think about, okay, when I get triggered, where do I feel it? Do I have trouble breathing? Does my stomach hurt? Do my knees hurt? Do my hands get tingly? You know, do I get a headache? What, where does it happen physically for you? And then breathe into that space and allow that to be and love on that love on your wounds okay accept that and say okay because the more you accept and love on it the less you are likely to react out of anger right and the more aware you of, of, are of the pattern then you can say oh okay i'm being triggered now but that doesn't mean i have to respond in the way that I have in the past, you know, that you can take a minute, you can take a beat, you can take a breath. <sighs> okay. I'm being triggered. This is upsetting me. How can I respond instead of react? Right? So 
that's what I want you to take away for today. This idea that our shadows are not bad. They're born of wounds. They're born of pain. They originally probably came around to protect. These patterns came around to protect you. They are no longer helpful. And so now it's time to love on them, thank them for their service, allow them to be there. You know, that's it's not going to go away. It just doesn't have the same effect on you, right? Because you've processed the grief. You've figured out where it is in your body. You've, breathed, you've done some breathing into it. You've sat with it. You've been aware of it. You've allowed yourself to be sad or to grieve or whatever, right? So that you can no longer be controlled by that pattern or by that response, by that reaction. You can respond instead of react, right? That's the goal. So I hope that was helpful. I look forward to tomorrow. I think probably on day six um, or session six, probably what I'm going to do is um, just thinking about this as I was just talking, do a breathing exercise where we focus on some part of us that feels hurt or wounded or feels pain and breathe into that space, but we'll do a, a full guided meditation along those lines. Okay. So that's the plan. But as we know, things happen and we might have to shift the plan, but that's the plan right now. So I will do that at some point <laughs> that I'll promise. Okay. Have a good one. Take great care. Mwah. Mwah. Bye.